Hello friends, I am Niloy. I am from Russia University, Department of Tripoli, first year. Now I am gonna introduce you to someone who can really blow your mind. Let's meet him. So friends, meet the android Resbot. Actually it's a rescue robot. It has been programmed for two specific tasks. Now hearing the word program, you might think that it might be some kind of computer programming like Arduino, Java or C. But believe me my friends, that's not any kind of programming that you usually see. It's completely a different kind of programming. Maybe you haven't seen this type of programming before. Now the question is, if I didn't use any kind of computer programming, then what have I used? Actually I have used a clock to set the program. Yes my friend, a clock. That's why it's different from the others robot. Firstly, I want to discuss about the structure. After that, I will go to the action. Let me start with this leg. Actually, I have used some pieces of bamboo to make this leg. You can see here. And use some uh, wooden pieces to make his feet. Right here. And left of his body, including his arm, his hand and chest and his head also has been made of some cardboard you can see here this is also made by some cardboard like Let's talk about the motors. Actually, I have inserted here 15 motors. Eight of them are in the below section of his body, and the rest of them are in the upper section of his body. Now, friends, notice this thing. Actually, this is a water gun. It has been connected to this water pump. You can see here. This is the water pump. It actually helps that water gun to flow water. Now friends, notice, notice these two motors. Actually they work like uh, vibrators and helps the robot to rotate like this. Now this is the time to show you the motherboard. It is actually on the back side of this robot. As I have said before that uh, I have modified a clock to set the program. So you can see here the clock spine. Yeah, it can move like this. Like this. Actually two wires have been connected to this spine. One is this side of the spine and another is this side so that they can supply power at the corner of these dice you can see many wires arranged systematically actually these are connected to one terminals of the motors and another terminals of the motors have been connected to these sections of the wire you can see here so in every one second the spine will jump from one wire to other wire and Whenever this spine will contact with these wires, the motor will start to move. Now, firstly, if you are desired to move the motor that is controlling your robot's left hand, then you just have to connect that motor to these two wires. And in this process, I have connected all these wires with the motors. Now have a look at the dice. See my friends, it is just moving from one wire to other wire, you can notice that. And that's how the program goes on. Now as I have said before that it has been provided two specific tasks. 
one of those is to rescue someone who is in a danger region and another is to deactivate a bomb so let's go to the first action now the story is fire breaks out in an apartment you can see has a fire now consider this thing as a human being actually he has been trapped into that fire and become senseless now the temperature is too high for a human being to go there and take him out so we need the ender dress and he is also prepared to start now all that he has to do that he has to turn out this fire and bring that man to the safe zone that means here let's have a look how he completes the first mission So friends, now it's the time to show you the second mission, that means the deactivation of the bomb. Now consider this thing as a bomb, look, it's shining. Now around a few seconds, it will explode. Now the bomb will remain activated until the light doesn't stop shining. The bomb can be deactivated by water. But the problem is it has been covered and there is a few seconds left to the explosion. Now if any human goes to deactivate that bomb, his life will be at high risk. So again we need the android respawn. Let's see how he completes the second mission. Hopefully you like this video, so please share this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye bye from two of us.